Time for love, guys. Welcome back to another episode here on our channel. Uh, it's great to have you guys back. A special vital over to our AING members. Um, hope everyone's okay. So today is Saturday here in Samoa. And uh, yeah, you guys will be joining me in some of my chores for today. So hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share our channel, guys. See you soon. Good lord, look at the amount of cows in the back here. Frickin' hell. Jeez. Oh man. So frustrating, man. Well, one day we'll eat them. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you one day. I'll eat you. As soon as we start, like, as soon as there's a shortage of meat in our country, we're gonna start using up these cows. So yeah, if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm planting taro today, so. This is where we um, finished planting last week, so we're going to carry on from here. All right, guys. So it's um, probably seven, six thirty to seven in the morning. Um, let's get planting on this because. So the main reason why we're planting this is because uh, we've got village inspections coming up. Each family has to plant about 300, I think, Tiapula. So that's why we've been started planting this plot again for the village inspections. So yeah, we're gonna get started. Let's get into it.
right guys, so um, just taking a little break. Uh, probably, sorry I couldn't keep recording at the time because uh, the phone kept falling down and plus um, just slows me down a bit. So <laughs> now I'm just gonna have a quick coffee break and then we'll head to um, finishing the rest of the Tiapula here. a nice hot cup of coffee in the morning to start the day but yeah take a quick smoke or break we'll be back in uh, probably five to ten minutes <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna we're gonna get started soon. I uh, just finished doing a bit of a, I did a live on Instagram, so be sure to follow our Instagram guys, and also our Facebook, but mostly Instagram, because I do, I, I, I prefer Instagram over Facebook. Um, but I just did a live there. Um, so if you wanna, you know, catch me, I like Instagram because it's a lot quicker as well. Um, so be sure to follow those social media accounts, guys. Where you can catch me doing lives every now and then. But we're gonna get back to planting Tyrone. Nature is scary. <laughs> That's the circle of life. Poor caterpillar there is gonna be ant food. All right, let's get to it. All right, just finished uh, distributing probably the second to last batch um, from my wheelbarrow. Um, and then we're gonna start planting. But this is why, guys, we can't use tractors for any large scale planting. Um, yeah, well, particularly here in our farm, is because there's so much rock. So see, I actually went into the effort of removing that rock, which was here, um, which was way down the bottom. But look at the size of that. There's so many rocks around here. So that actually, it doesn't help when we're trying to plant taro using maybe like, you know, machinery and stuff. Um, because of that, for that um, reason, it's just too many... Um, the terrain is not that optimized for uh, um, any sort of machinery or mechanical assistance. So that's why we do it manually. But I'm going to uh, probably finish this off. Not bad. Only got a few left. Um, and then uh, we'll go back to the house and see um, what else we've got for today. So taking another break, uh, just finished planting probably another 20, but it's just becoming hot at the moment because of the sun. It's uh, really hot right now. It's really hot guys, so. So finally finished the load. Um, just gonna head to the house. We'll catch you guys there. All right, guys. So finally here at home. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little break, and then uh, we'll see what else 
uh, what are the remaining tools for today um, so as you guys see we're planting tiapula um, and that's because we have village inspections um, coming up so this is is a common occurrence here in Samoa um, mostly for the villages in the urban rural the one out backs um, so they do a lot, of, a lot of these village inspections where families have to plant 300 to 500 maybe even a thousand tiapula and it's compulsory um, so that everyone has a bit of food planted so this is a common occurrence and our village inspection is in March April um, so that's why I was starting to plant that side of the house um, just so that by the time inspections come we would have covered that entire plot um, when it's time for the inspections uh, so yeah just gonna take a bit of rest maybe there's breakfast here we'll see but we got wife's cooking up something so um, we've got uncle there in the morning he was preparing uh, the food for the pigs Loy was cleaning up the house and we've got the other kids here um, so it's uh, full on Saturday um, but yeah we're gonna get a bit of rest um, and then we'll see what's left for the remaining of the day remainder of the day all right Welcome back guys, um, had a good sleep, um, but now we've got to finish our chores, I think I've got to go get some ulus, uh, and then after that uh, we've got the umu prepped up, now we're going to go um, yeah, get some ulus. Alright, so this is, I think uncle said this ulu is called sango sango. Uh, it's nice and yellow when it's uh, cooked so we'll grab most of these because they're nice and matured at the moment I'm seeing quite a lot of matured ones so probably best to use them there's a few there as well some there yeah all right <laughs> This one's a bit soft, so we'll use it for the pigs. soft as well to a pig's food. So we've got some taro here from uncle, bananas there, uh, so I'm just gonna remove the tiapula and then uh, probably get to getting some leaves to cover the umu afterwards.
so leaving those two pullers there um, we'll finish off today with planting those two pullers when the sun is nice and low All right, so we're at the portion which we planted. Um, I just noticed there's a few taros here that I don't want. And I will show you guys, which will be this one. We're gonna take that out. So this was planted a week ago. See, it's already establishing good roots, but because it has this flowering bit, and that's the actual flower of the taro, we don't want it. Um, and that's because uncle told me um, that when you find taros that are actually flowering in the plantation take it out as soon as possible before the flower opens because it actually spreads um, and usually flowers taros that have flowers on them um, don't actually give a good size comb and that the, the flowering this flower will actually cause I think he said um, it spreads um, so it'll actually cause the other taros in the plantation to start flowering as well and you know as a result we won't get good good taro um, so which is why I took it out we're going to replace it with other tier pullers because we don't want flowering uh, taros because it's bad bad size comb so we're going to take it out now here's another one we already have two flowers on it so take that out look at that really good roots already established here's another one so I will definitely need to replant this. Um, I see another one over there. And then, uh, yeah, throw these away. That was really quick. It's only been one week and they've already got new roots growing. Yeah, I'm going to go get some uh, tamu leaves for the uh, um, to cover the um. Alright guys, so this was the bit we were planting in the morning. Looks fairly good. Just praying the cows don't come back only got a little bit left on that side should be done and then we'll start spraying the herbicide for the rest of this or what's left of it so again only using the leaves that are beginning to yellow because they're mostly useless um, because majority of I mean this is like my science I'm not sure if it's actual actual proper science but my belief is that because it's starting to lose its green color you guys see that because it's starting to lose its green therefore if there's no green there's no chlorophyll if there's no chlorophyll the, the thing's not making food kind of makes sense but I'm not sure if it's right um, but I've seen other people do it so it's probably right Guys, I'll get back to it because I need both hands for this, but we'll be back. Alright, got the tamu leaves, that's it's probably a decent amount. Um, it's going for coconuts. Oh, look, coconuts. New ones as well. It's been very windy. Uh, been quite windy the past two weeks uh, we had two near misses of tropical depressions if you guys see there um, so we're very fortunate but the strong winds have caused some damage uh, I think we've got two trees that have fallen at the farm uh, got a few some here so see these dead trees that we um, ring barked so this 
could actually start falling anytime soon now because of these strong winds but yeah coconuts coconuts another thing to remember is because it's windy you always got to keep an eye out um, for any falling coconuts that might hit you on the head you guys see there so although I am walking around underneath these coconuts I'm always looking up in case one falls on the noggin. We've only got one of those, so don't want to lose it.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna head to finish off the rest of this tier puller on that side. Yeah. So this is where we ended in the morning and I'll try and plant this as much as I can again as much as I can all the way to there where that uh, where the browns grass ends Almost done guys, uh, probably 10 left and then we'll uh, call it a day. Just having a bit of a break, nice uh, cold coke, I think beats a cold coke, a cold coke, cold coke, yeah, that's a tongue twister for you, but guys, if you know anyone in coke looking to sponsor our channel, let me know, um, it might be worth it. Finally done guys, um, I'm gonna call it a day. Oh wait, I meant to get some firewood. There's a few over here. Right there. Woo! Well yeah guys, I'm gonna sign off now. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also wanna say thank you again guys. Uh, for the continuous support on our channel really appreciate it guys and we're hoping to get um, our t-shirts up it's taking a long time because I'm still trying to source out everything so be patient guys but once we do get it guys uh, definitely gonna bring it up on YouTube you guys get yourself some Crave Growth Crave Growth, Crave growth t-shirts t-shirts so yeah guys again just want to say thank you for the support guys I'm um, gonna get the firewood, take it home, take a shower and get some rest, and then uh, prepare for tomorrow's uh, Sunday cooking. So uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys. We'll definitely catch you guys on our next episode. But until then, God bless, take care, stay safe. See you guys soon.